Blueberry Academy, Ingo, Unova, the Time Machine, Hisui. It all makes sense now. The Blueberry Academy being in Unova is not only a major win for all the Unova fans out there, but lore-wise, it actually ties in perfectly well with the previous game that we had, Legends Arceus. Now, Legends Arceus being a game that takes place in Old Days Sinnoh, or Hisui, may seem like a far-off connection, but it really isn't. Because throughout all of Legends Arceus, there was a strange thing that every fan of the older games noticed. The interesting connections and the lore that was related to Unova. There was so much that we really couldn't understand what was going on. But now that the Blueberry Academy is in Unova, a lot more of it makes sense. It's very much possible that Legends Arceus was foreshadowing events to come in Scarlet and Violet's Blueberry Academy, and or a future Unova title that may be coming up this generation. And while there are many things that we can break down, the three most interesting ones to me are the ancient hero, who I think is Alder, and Amorous being the fourth member of the Unova Genies, and of course, Ingo, the faller from Unova. Before that, let's talk about the sponsor of today's video. If you feel like your experience is holding you back from pursuing the career that you wish to have, then I'm excited to talk to you about today's sponsor, Southern New Hampshire University. SNHU has to be one of the largest accredited nonprofit online degree offerings in the country, and I want to talk to you about our game development program. In this program, you'll learn how to create realistic, dynamic gameplay experiences with game AI, game physics, 2D, and 3D graphics, and interface design. You'll also learn computer programming languages like C++, C Sharp, and Java, and you'll learn 3D modeling and texturing with game art software. You'll learn how to research, develop, and contribute to advances and trends within the field of programming. Courses are taught by faculty with real-world experience. SNHU is radically affordable. Their online tuition rates are some of the lowest in the nation. Go to snhu.edu slash hybrid hero, also linked in my description, to see what the current average annual salary for a programmer is and request free information about the program. When you request information, a real person will hop on a call and discuss how the program could benefit you personally. It only takes one click to find your calling. While Don and Lucas may have been the protagonists of Legends Arceus and the main followers of the games, coming from what is seemingly a future version of them from Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, where they're a bit older, in the middle of the game we get surprised by one more character who entered Hisui from another world. One more character who came from the modern time, but one who's been there longer than we have. And that of course is Ingo. The only other person we really see this happen to is Annabelle, who seems to be an Oras version of Alola, but coming from the Emerald version of Hoenn. This is because Annabelle hints at lost memories of being a Battle Frontier brain, which of course isn't there in Oras. But with Ingo, we only have one universe pertaining to Unova games, so it most likely makes sense that he's from those games, right? Well, maybe, but maybe not. You see, Scarlet and Violet takes place in the Mega Evolution timeline. This is clear through Roaring Moon's Dex entry, which mentions Mega Evolution being a part of some other region, so it's present here. Meaning that, if the original Unova universe was one that didn't have Mega Evolution or anything, it's possible that the Unova that we see in Blueberry Academy is the universe that does have Mega Evolution. And while in a way, it might give us hope for some new Unova games, it's also possible that Ingo was from this universe and not the original Unova universe. Now regardless of what, Judging by the character shown off in the trailer, I think that the events of the Indigo Disc take part years after Black 2 and White 2, because each of the Blueberry Academy Elite 4 members seem to be children of Unova Gym Leaders, and they would have needed some time to grow up. I had a video talking about this before the reveal that Blueberry Academy was in Unova, if you want to check that out and learn more about these characters and their parents. So theoretically, this could be the same universe as the regular Black and White, since there is a time jump, but regardless of what, there is a time skip, meaning that because of the events of Pokemon Legends Arceus, because we know that Ingo gets transported into Legends Arceus at some point after the events of Black 2 and White 2, because there is a strong chance that there's at least a 10 to 15 year time skip, maybe even a bit longer for all these gym leaders to have had and raised children, there is a good chance that when we arrive in the Blu-ray Academy and we get to see the remnants of Unova and possibly some older Unova characters, there's a strong, strong possibility that we may see Emmett all by himself. All alone without Ingo. Because of the setup that Legends Arceus delivered to us. Now, before we continue, I am a huge Unova fan, with Black and White being my favorite games from the franchise, and I really am hoping that we get some kind of Unova game in 2024, regardless of what Blueberry Academy's Unova and that itself is hype. So in celebration, I'm hoping to make one Unova related video a week until Pokemon Day as a lead up to either some hype Unova games or sheer disappointment. So if you want to stick around for the ride, please consider subscribing and letting me know in the comments if this is something you want to see. 90% of my audience isn't subscribed. 
subscribe, so I would greatly appreciate your support, and a dedicated audience along this Unova journey would be so much fun. I'd love to have you around. With Annabelle, when she was shown to be a faller, it was fine. We could come up with our own ideas and theories and whatever, and Pokemon didn't have to address it because Hoenn wasn't coming up anytime soon. But with Ingo, Scarlet and Violet is now partially taking place in Unova. But why? There must be a reason. Pokemon Legends Arceus hinted and gave us so much Unova content, with Ingo being the biggest one. Maybe it's possible that we see both Ingo and Emmett, and we actually see the events of Ingo being transported into Hisui. Maybe we see Ingo and Emmett, and it hard confirms that Ingo was transported after the events of the Indigo Disc. Maybe we see Emmett be all sad and depressed at the loss of his brother, or maybe we see Emmett as an antagonist because he's doing whatever he can to get his brother back. I refuse to think that there's no correlation here, and if there isn't, then, well... I'm just gonna assume that we're getting you know, a game soon to sorta of explain things, but all I'm saying is there's a reason why we're going to Unova. That reason doesn't have to be this, but there has to be some kind of reason. And honestly, if we ever do get to see Emmett, it's gonna be incredibly painful to see him without his brother, especially if we actually get to see Ingo be taken back in time in these games. We do have a time machine after all. Speaking of time, I've mentioned this multiple times, but I do think that the ancient hero of Hisui is in fact Elder and not an ancestor of Elder. Again, there are multiple videos explaining this if you wanna check him out, but the basic rundown is these beads around his neck are undoubtedly Pokeballs and not something else which wouldn't have existed 2,000 or 3,000 years ago, meaning that this person must be from the future, as well as the fact that, yeah, the ancient hero of Hisui is able to befriend and use multiple Pokemon very easily, which was unheard of at that time. Again, leading people to think and believe that this is just Alder from the future. If so, then this is once again another event that we could possibly see in the Indigo Disc, because again, the Indigo Disc seems to have had a time skip from Black 2 and White 2, which means there's a good shot an older version of Elder is suddenly missing and just in the olden day Hisui. Even if we don't get to see this event occur, I feel like more than the stuff with Ingo and Emmett, there's a high chance that we actually get to see this or a reference to this event. Think about it. As Elite Four members and as children of presumably Unova Gym Leaders, everyone probably knows and admires Alder as a former champion of the region. With his absence, there's no way that all of them would avoid mentioning it, or something like that. I think one of them will for sure bring it up at some point or another if it has occurred by this point. And if it doesn't, then... I don't know. What was the point of all the Unova setup? Black and White remakes? Black and White 3? Pokemon Legends Kiram? I don't know. The most obvious of all the Unova hints, of course, was Enamorous. There was absolutely no reason for Unova to get another quartet, but it actually makes sense in terms of the genies lore, because with each of the genies represent each of the four Chinese symbols or the four auspicious beasts, a turtle, dragon, tiger, and a phoenix. In the Ethereum forms, the genies represent these animals. Now, the genies also represent the four seasons of summer, fall, winter, and spring, with Enamorous being spring. So Enamorous does make sense in every regard, but the question is, why now? Now, the Regis did get new members in both Sinnoh and Galar, and for the most part, the addition in Galar didn't really allude to anything or do anything in terms of Hoenn. But the thing is that these were the only additions that were references to Hoenn. In PLA, we have Enamorous and a bunch of others. And like I mentioned earlier, Enamorous makes sense, but the timing is really, really strange. You have Ingo, Alder, and now Enamorous as well, as well as some Hisuian Pokemon forms that really, really show some love to 5th Gen Mons. Unova got so much love in PLA that it's even hard to articulate. You just have to play the games to understand. I know that most of this video was on Ingo and Emmett, because that's what I'm most hoping to see. Although I think that it's the least likely, but... I had to mention Alder and Namorous as well, because how could I not? Ironically enough, it's probably the reverse. A catchable in Namorous in the Indigo Disc is the most likely, a reference to Alder going missing and all is next, and anything about Ingo is dead last, but a guy can dream, right? All of the setup is there for anything major when it comes to Unova games or lore. Whether it's inside or outside the Indigo Disc, all that needs to happen now is the execution. They just need to build on top of the foundation that they've established, and they can take this so, so incredibly far. And I really hope that they do, but what do you guys think? Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Take care of yourselves, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you over on the next video, alright? Later.